Okay, these are revisions of uh, lesson one uh, regarding about the section number one that you revise. Okay, let me show you how we start on basic, not to use the template. Okay, I click on this plus sign, right? Exact what we see here, we have a two column column left, column right. Okay, so what we do, I need the two column. So I click on here. And you can see in the top here, one column, two column. Let's start off with the simple one first. This column one an image. If you look back here, this is the image here. Okay, so what I do, I get the image ready. I click here. I drag an image column. I just post it to the top here. You see the line. Let it go. That will be the image that I'm going to put in. So I look for the image in the media library. Okay, this is the image. So I click this. I insert. So the right hand column is already an image. Now we're going to do the first column. Now the first column, if you notice, you go back, you notice there is also an image here and followed by the uh, header, header, the uh, text you have here and the button. So these are the few elements I have to put it in first. So let's do the first one first. Okay, the first one, we're talking about this column which I'll take it out another image on top, drag and drop. So this is a transparent image. Basically this is a one I insert. So you can see this image is up here. The next one is the title. There are two title here. So let me drag the title first before I do all the editing. All right, so one title, another title. Okay, then we have the, let me see, we have the text editor, that the description, and finally we have a button at the below. That is a button, okay. So, the layout is done in such a way. All right, let me edit this one. And an easy way, if I can copy, just a very quick one, I just copy and paste. Copy it. All right, then I paste it over here. This is the part where I want to paste. All right, paste it. So it's done the first part. The second part here, I will copy second part here this is where I need same thing control C or command C go back to my image click here I just paste it over okay so it done let's do the text first okay if I do the text I just take out this part here this is the text, copy it, go away, drag it all the way through, I just paste it, and you see the text is there. And of course, this part is the button, okay, there is a button. So the button you notice here is book for appointment, okay, I can get the button, book an appointment. So just remember that. I click into the button part. Here is where the text I need to do. Okay. Book. Or even I be more. Book. For appointment. A B P O I N T M E N. So for appointment right 
Am I right? I think so. An appointment book for an appointment. So hopefully, okay, whatever it is, I still book, book an appointment, we call it. I check the spelling. N-A-N. Appointment, I think the mistake is miss out a T here. A simple. Done. See, you see the text, image, text and everything. So the basic layout we can adjust later. So let me see, we go into the form size. And you notice there is a distance between here and here. Right, never mind, we can come that, to that later. So we just do one section first. Every section is the same. That's about how you set it out. Now, this part here is basically professional, excellent. You notice the color is different, right? Now, mind, let's do a simple way. We leave it as it is. I just change it to blue. Okay, let's change it to blue. Right, and then what do I do? I take this part here. You notice here, I can even put code here to turn it to blue and this one to whatever color you want. But anyway, we do the basic thing first here. So when I want to do this, I want to make sure the color. So text color, I can change it to black. I can change it to green. Or I can change it to gray. Or whatever color you want to do. Right. Simple as that. So here, if you look at this part here, you look at it's only capitalizing. Okay. Now the second part here, you see the size is a little bit different, but it's using the same title. Okay, let's look at this. This is what I mean here, I see. Click into here, I must click this element part here, element that show where it is, okay? I forgot to tell you that this is a column, right? You see this column here, this is the element. This is a whole section. Okay, so let's say we already done this, but I want it to be smaller. So we go into here. Let me see what color is it. Okay, black color. So we do a black color here. So this one is black color is in black. So we put the black color. Right. So it's not as big as uh, we expected. So what we do, we go to typography. Right. And we actually, we can change the family uh, font if you want to. Or I can put into like Monstrate. Okay, let's M-O and I use Monstrate. So you can use Monstrate. Yeah, you see, it's just like that. But of course, the size, I can move this size here. See that? Up to there. I change the size completely. Okay, as easy as this. Now this part here is basically is the text. So the text is in blue, right? So or in, in, in the black. Look at here. This is black color, but it's a lighter uh, black. So let's go back. I click on this pencil mark. That is the element. And it come down here. This is the whole thing that we are talking about. And let's say I go to style, uh, I go here, text color, black, dark black or gray black, okay, this is darker black, or can be lighter, dark, light, lighter color. So this is the color that I want. Now I want to change the size or whatever it is. So basically it is a uh, style here. Typography, right? Typography, always remember that whatever you do, that is the typography. So I can change the form, different type of form. P O P M, let's say pop. Pop pin, okay, I just use pop pin. Okay, I can change it. So I want the weight not so dark, I can reduce to the weight of 400 or even maybe 500. See how it looks. So this is fine, it look better. So I can do all this adjustment here. The size, I can move it, I change the size until it suits you, right? Okay, 
let's see how many uh, line they have. Three line, right? So I'm going to move out exactly the same. Three line. So I'm going to reduce it to three line. Okay, this is three line. Of course, uh, at the bottom line height, I can move the line height. See? I can move out the line height. So I can adjust the height so that you can see uh, differently. Okay, next thing to see is actually the button here. This is a button. Right, so when we create a button, this is green color, that one is blue. So okay, I'm going to change it to blue. So I highlight this one here. <coughs> Book an appointment here. This is normally the button. Uh, see. Oh, sorry, it run over to the other side. Can we go over to the other side? This is wrong. Let me move back here. Yep. It move back there. I just, just drag and put it back there. So this is a book appointment. And you can see this is a link where you want this book appointment go to. And that is a hyperlink. The size is small, but I'm going to change the color. Uh, this is where site center and all sort of things that's how we do okay so the text color is white but the background i want it to be blue so i choose a blue color darker blue right and that's it it's a blue color very close to this one this is a little bit lighter so i can actually shift this to a lighter blue can see that maybe a bit lighter okay so whatever you want to change your color but of course you know the uh, color coding that's more easy will be very very accurate now the difference here that I'm going to start to do something but this is a very square kind of a button so I want to do a round one so what I do now is border type here I put a little bit border uh, color so I can put it white and put other color. If I like, I can put the border color in the different formats. Okay, so let's say I want the border to be thicker. Let's move to oh, okay, let's move to one. See, you can see there is a border in white color. Let me move this, cannot move one. Huh? <clears throat> but then I want it to be round. If you, you see, I want the border what color. If you want to show the color, I can do it here. It can be a red color or black color. This is black. Okay, this is gold color. See, it's already turned it to gold. Now I can also change it to red if I want to. This red color. All right, okay. So this will be how you look at the border color here. Right, border type with the inner background is blue color so I want it to round off if I want it to round off I border radius so what I need to do I just move it from this part okay can move until it round turn out to be around see 25 probably it'll be better not 25 okay it look much better on 25 Two, four, four, five. So it become round, right? So I want to put in maybe this button that is a shadow, which I can do it. Click here. Okay. Then I want the shadow be horizontal or vertical. So the border will be in a little bit gray color here. You can see here. It's actually gray color. So I can move it to a little bit darker. Right, so you can see slightly here that color. So I want it to be horizontal. You can see this horizontal coming out. Move it back a little bit. Okay. And I want it to be vertical. So moving downward. See that? So that is how I will create my this thing, the button, shadow and everything. Now you notice this one here that is a gap between here and here is quite far away 
So what I'm going to do is I just basically create this part here, go back. Now I want this one to be a distance. So I take a spacer. Okay, this is a space. I put it, I drag to the top here. Right? That is a spacing. Now the spacing I can drag it more or less. If I drag more, it will bring down more. So you can see it's moving a larger space. So if you look at the page here, alright, that is a page that is almost the level of the head. Add to it. Okay, where is it now? So the, the picture is lower actually, the picture is lower. That means there is a spacing here. Okay. So if you just understand this part here, if now this is a space, I can add a space here also. Let me try out a space here. Drag and I drop here. Okay, so it is a space. So I want it to be more. I bring it down. Right, so it look much more or less coming to the same thing. So all these are placing with spaces. Okay, here this one is about the shoulder level. Let me see whether it's a shoulder level. Okay, this one I need to bring down a little bit. So I just add in the space. Okay, there you go down a little bit. So this is 50, but I can bring it down slightly less. Okay, see that? So this is exactly the same size. This is one of the sections that we are talking about. <clears throat> okay, this is how we play with the layout. Now let me see what I'm missing now. So anything you do here, right, is basically what you said. Now, one more thing I'm missing here is the background here. Okay, this is the whole background of the two columns. So how do I do about it? I'll put the background at the back. Right, so let's go into do it. So I must go here. This is a complete section. Okay, it's the complete section. So this is a box and I want this layout <coughs> to be full. Let's say uh, as much as I can. Maybe 1002. That's my favorite number. Okay, it's about that. So if you look at the spacing here, okay, I need to have a background. So I go into style, I look for background. Okay, the background image actually, you're talking about image. I click here the classic, so I look for image. Right, click onto image. I think this is a background. Click over image, insert. See that? So you notice there is an image behind it. The whole thing is exactly what you do on one section. Okay, basically now this is how I create a section. In the page, you have multiple section and you create section by section one at a time. So I'm just only today, I will just show you only this part of the section, how we created exactly the same. So if you have any other website you want to follow and then see how you created, you can do so, okay? So let's say I, I um, publish. The next thing is to publish the thing. So when I publish, right, he said already published. So we want to have a look how it looks like, right? So it's exactly the same that I created here. Maybe it's some adjustment that I need to do. That's the only thing, right? Okay, I think that is all for today and uh, how we create. We come back to uh, next session, maybe lesson two, masterclass lesson two. Then I will show you more detail on this. Okay, thank you very much. Well, we have come to the end of the first lesson. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn more about landing page, blog posts, and other emanated effect website. I would like to thank you for watching my video. Hope you enjoy and learn more in the future.